Now we are going to talk about two major tools, basic tools as well in the subject economics, and is also the most important tool for any kind of economic analysis. That is demand and supply. If you don't know what is demand, if you don't know what is supply, then the understanding of the subject will be incomplete. So let us first start with demand. Now, what is demand? If we see this diagram on the right hand side, where we have plotted price in the vertical axis and quantity demanded on the horizontal axis, we see that for any particular commodity or any particular good, when the price of that good is at P1, we see that the quantity demanded for that particular good is at Q3. Similarly, if the price of that particular good increases to P2, we see that there is a decline in the quantity demanded for that particular commodity from Q3 to Q2. Again, if the price of that good increases further to P3, we see that the quantity demanded declines more to Q1. So what does this tell? This tells that whenever there is an increase in the price of the commodity or the particular good, there will be a decline in the quantity demanded for that particular good. Now, for example, if we consider a pen, it's a good. So initially, let us consider that the price of the pen is five rupees. In that case, the quantity demanded for that particular pen is 10. People are demanding 10 pieces of that particular pen at rupees five. Now, if the seller increases the price of that pen from rupees five to say rupees eight, we see that the quantity falls from 10 to eight. Now, people start feeling that it is expensive. I don't want that pen anymore. I'm going to look for substitutes in that case. So the demand of that particular good falls because of the law of demand. Now, what does the law of demand state? The law of demand states that the price given, the increase in the price of a particular commodity, there will be a decline in the quantity demanded of that particular good when all other factors remaining unchanged. Now, we have to keep this in mind that we are only talking about two variables here, price and quantity. There may be other factors as well working in, the, in, working in the scenario, but we are not considering that right now. So that's why in the definition, in the law, we are stating that the other factors are remaining constant. We are not looking at them. They are remaining unchanged. Only two variables are working in this case, price and quantity demanded. So the demand law says that when there is an increase in price for a particular good or a commodity, there will be a decline in the quantity demanded given the other factors remaining constant. So we can see that the demand curve is actually showing a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded, and hence the downward sloping demand curve. We see that the demand curve is actually sloping downwards, which indicates that the demand curve is a downward sloping curve. It shows a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. Now, this is about demand. Let us now jump into supply. Now, supply is from a uh, producer perspective. Demand was from a consumer perspective. Now, in case of supply, the seller, whether if you are considering the commodity as pen, now the more the price of the pen will increase, the shopkeeper or the seller would want to supply more quantity because the shopkeeper knows that the price of my pen has now increased. And if I supply more to the market, people will buy more and hence I can generate more profit. So for a producer, there will always be this condition that I, he or she is going to increase the quantity supplied if there is an increase in the price. So here we see in the graph, if the price of the product is at P1, the quantity, demand, quantity supplied is Q1. Similarly, if the price of the product increases from P1 to P2, we see that the quantity has also incre increased from Q1 to Q2. Again, further, if we see P2 from P2, uh, the price has increased from P2 to P3, we see that the quantity has also increased. So here, the supply condition shows that as the price of the product or the commodity increases, the quantity supply of that product will also increase. And hence, we see that there is a positive supply curve. That is, it is an upward sloping supply curve. 
So what does the supply law, supply law says? That if the price of a commodity increases, the quantity supplied of that commodity will also increase given that the other factors are remaining constant. Hence, the supply curve shows a positive relationship between price and quantity supplied and hence the upward sloping supply curve. So this was about demand and supply, the basic and the most important tool of economics. Thank you.